the rhythm of the body the melody of the mind and the harmony of the soul creates the symphony of life by bks ayangar a very warm good morning to the special guest of the day colonel nisar sethi dear parents teachers and my dear students welcome to this saturday session towards well being every saturday it's a norm at harvest we all teachers assemble and equip ourselves most of the time it is to update ourselves for being a better teacher on various fronts but today we have a wonderful opportunity to join our parent community along with the kids in this well being session and now i pass the screen and the podium to colonel nisar ji for the session thank you yoga is a light it's a wonderful light which once lit will never dim the more you practice the brighter the flame so a wonderful and great morning to the family of uh, surya adi ma'am and her team and i'm so happy uh, to see so many of you starting from the smaller children to you know the senior veterans here in this platform thank you so much i am honored so i shall not be wasting much time because you know we want to go through a small package today starting with the warming up sukshma vyayama followed by some asana standing sitting and lying and we'll take on two uh, deep breathing exercise followed by a short meditation and thereafter if you have any doubt any clarification any query you are at liberty to you know Uh, have a interactive session at the end so are you all ready to move and shake your body yes yes, yes. 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 thank you yes thank you yes, thank, you. Yes, thank you thank you those those who has a little issue of the back or knee with the age you can sit down and do it don't have to you know uh bugger your body or don't have to overload your body because yoga is sukhasana sukha means sukhasana all right it should be doing with pleasure and happiness so please don't overdo over stretch and you will get injured so that's very important so please take it easy wherever you feel discomfort just stop it you can do it later all right okay you can start running a little bit while standing or moving Just move your upper body and lower body. Yes. Yeah, I can't see the youngsters still sitting. Come on. Come on. Yes, yes. Move your hand folded up and down, and your leg also up and down. You can move up to the front or to the back. Now you can move to the right a little bit and left, right side and left side. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Now come back to the normal position. Now slowly raise your both hands up and keep your hands above your head, above your head, and relax. Just relax your lower hands. Okay, lower hands. Now bring your hands to the right, parallel to the ground, sideways. Now bring it to the front. Bring it to the front, and now to the back. It may be a little difficult. Raise it as far as possible. Those who have issue of the shoulder, you can try with one hand. Okay, try with the right hand. Then you can do with the left hand. And then when you are comfortable, you can raise it like this. You get more stretch over your shoulders and arms. Now we right. start off. with the rotation of the hands okay like this both hands together up you breathe in down you breathe out okay one breathe in two breathe out just start one two up down up down one two <clears throat> do the opposite direction all rotation you have to do both ways Now now we are going to extend our hands bring it in front bring it in front parallel to the ground and you are going to extend it to the side 180 degrees 
180 degrees feel the stretch over your chest your chest has opened up your shoulders have opened up okay and feel the stretch and come back slowly come back <clears throat> and again come back all right now relax relax just lift your shoulders up lift your shoulders up raise raise your shoulders up and bring it down once again up and down it's a very soothing relaxing exercise for the shoulders okay now we do a little bit of neck rotation so take your position keep your hands to the side give a support now we are going to do the up down movement of your head and neck okay i'll give you the count one look up two look straight three down touch your chest with your chin now four straight so it's very easy one two three four once again one two three four so you can do it three to five times at your convenience and the time availability with you okay now we'll do the right turn and the left turn watch firstly to the right just go down to the right touch the shoulder with your right ear one two straight up three to the other side and four you come back to normal okay so it's full right turn first to the right look over your shoulders look over your shoulders now come back two now to the other side three then come back to the center four just do it two to three times one two three four one two three four okay relax relax now we come over to our shoulders okay we are going from top to bottom one by one so bring your both hands palm over your shoulders like wow. this down breathe in breathe out inhale exhale you can do it 3 to 5 times if possible keep your elbows together when you are going up and when you are coming down okay now we'll do the opposite direction opposite direction like this okay all right now we come over to the elbows it's easy for you keep again your both hands here now you are going to drop it down with a deep breathing watch is it okay all right now we come over to our wrist okay <coughs> bring your both hands in front and rotate your wrist very nice good good now opposite direction only the wrist some of you are moving your whole hand no only the wrist rest of the elbow arm are all straight only the wrist yes yes now we'll do the fingers 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 Now just open your fingers outwards and close it. Outwards and close it. You can feel the stretch and strain over your fingers. Very nice, very nice. Relax, relax. Now we come down to our upper body. So we are going to do a twist, swaying action. Okay, just watch from left and right. Left, right. One. Two, one, two. Feel that swaying action above your hip area. Yeah, very nice. You get lot of energy. You get lot of vibration. Feel that vibration and enjoy. Now we come over to the hip rotation. Okay. So first half, that is left half, you will breathe in. The second half, you breathe out. Okay. 
one breathe in two breathe out you can do it three to five times one two one two very nice very nice now we go over to our leg i mean the knee okay knee portion so very simple bring your both hands in front take a deep breath in now you're going to sit down without a chair okay this is also known as the utkatasana which is a chair pose but there is no chair watch one down breathe out then breathe in up down up one two this you can practice early morning when you get up you feel very lethargic isn't it you don't want to open your eyes mama is coming and try to wake you up you said 5 minutes 5 minutes this is the time you can take 3 4 good deep breath and practice this you get so much of energy that is why it is known as utkatasana or the intense pose okay all right now we do the ankle rotation of your leg so first balance your body on the left side on the left leg raise your right leg up raise your right leg up first to the clockwise followed by anti clock nice nice very nice change change your leg now balance your body on the right raise your left leg up and do the rotation those who have a problem of balance just stand next to the wall and practice this practice it for one or two weeks then you can balance comfortably all right very nice so we have done the basic warming up which is also known as the sukshma vyayama okay now we take on some simple asanas okay simple asanas the first one is tadasana or the mountain pose why is it called tadasana tada means mountain okay you are stretching like a mountain first you stand comfortably with a little gap between your feet now one bring your both hands to the side this is one you're breathing in okay when you're going up you're breathing in when you come down you're going to breathe out so one is this two above your head straight parallel to each other now three you clutch your hands clutch your hands and bring it above your head okay it improves your balance you can come down slowly five you come down on your feet six you separate your hands separate your hands but keep it there only above your head seven you bring your hand to the side and eight you bring it down right now the next one we are going to do the counter pose pada hastasana just watch stand straight number 1 bring your both hands to the side number 2 above your head number 3 come to half portion half position parallel to the ground and four you go down if possible touch the ground or touch your feet those who cannot go down as far as possible this is a wonderful stretch for your abdomen and your back and shoulders now come up slowly breathing in 5 5 6 hands to the side and 8 down it's very easy to follow if you just remember the counts okay 1 2 3 4 then coming back 5 6 7 8 you will never forget that okay all right now we do two sitting two sitting asanas stretch your both legs in front then first position both hands to the side one two above your head 
three come back to half portion just watch parallel to each other parallel to the ground now keep your head between your arms now for you go down and hold your feet or toes if possible don't overstretch on the what is possible keep your both hands behind in line with your shoulders in line with your shoulders okay yeah now we are going to raise the lower body just watch just watch 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 like this okay you have to raise your body up and look backwards the complete body weight comes on your hands and arms and shoulders this is a wonderful asana for your shoulders hands stomach foot now come back slowly come back slow you can practice this by just lifting yourself up and down and see are you comfortable you can practice this like this okay lie down on your stomach and keep the hands to the side now we are going to do shalabhasana shalab means the locust the locust pose okay so first you have to raise your both legs up your abdomen and the upper body is on the ground both hands to the side and lift your both legs up you can feel the stretch over your abdomen and back now slowly raise your head up very little first head comes down and then bring your both legs down lie down on your back lie down on your back we are going to raise our legs up okay which is known as the pada uttanasana pada uttanasana what is pada pada leg you are going to raise uttana means you have to raise the legs up just watch keep your both legs together and raise your both legs up slowly slowly you can do it 90 degrees initially you can do 20 30 40 50 60 degrees and finally bring it to 90 now slowly bring it down very slowly no jerk don't drop your leg this you can practice by one leg one leg okay firstly the right leg then you can practice with left leg and when you become comfortable you can do with both legs up okay this is also a very good exercise and when you raise your both legs up when you raise your both legs up make sure that your legs are pulled upwards okay legs are together and stretching upwards without a bend over the knee that is the point you should remember so we will do one quick one which is known as bastrika bastrika means the bellows breath what is it the bellows breath okay so firstly take the position hold your both hands and bring it to the side of your trunk of body you have fit fist you made a fist close to your fingers now when you are going to take a deep breath in then you are going to raise your hands above and open your fingers open your fingers okay when you come down while breathing out what are you going to do you come back close your fingers fist are you clear normally one round is 20 times 20 times you have to keep doing this then you take a small break then take the second round another 20 times then a third round so initially you do only one round okay then you can do slow you can do medium speed then you can do faster okay so i'll just show you the normal one watch this is the normal pace okay beginners should learn this now i'll teach you the faster version okay watch little medium speed
Okay, this is the medium version. And when you become absolutely all right and perfect after some practice, you can do continuous faster one. Okay, just watch. Watch this. This is absolutely brilliant. You get so much of energy. The blood start pumping into your face and forehead and you get so much of energy. You can feel the vibrations. Okay. We will just cool down. Okay. Cool down by a cooling pranayam. What is it known as? Sheetali. Sheetha means cool, cold. Okay. So Sheetali is one pranayam. You do it. Breathe in from your mouth and breathe out from your nose. Okay. So I'll just show you. First, you have to take the tongue out and then fold your tongue inwards. Just watch. Fold your tongue inwards. Okay. Then you are going to breathe in. When you breathe in, you can feel that coldness, coldness coming in. Okay. Then bring, get the tongue back inside your mouth and then breathe out from the nose. Just watch. And breathe out from the nose. This is excellent for the BP patients, blood pressure patients, which gives you a very cool feeling. Okay. So at the end of all practice, you can do Sheetali so that the body cools down. Okay. Now, now all of you get ready for a small meditation. Okay. Now, slowly give permission to yourself to close your eyes. Very slowly. Close your eyes. Now, I will tell you when to open. Please don't open your eyes till the time I tell you to open. Okay? Now, you concentrate in words. Okay? The time you close your eyes, you have started the inward journey. You are going to explore your inner mind. That is the subconscious state of mind, which is very, very powerful. Take one more deep breath in. Feel the breath and follow the breath like a shadow. Follow the breath like a shadow. You can feel the coldness while breathing in and you can feel the warmth at the tip of your nostril while you are exhaling. Very nice, very nice. Now, we are going to slowly take our mind away from our body, slowly, gently, and smoothly. You are going deeper, deeper, and deeper. You feel as if you are floating in the air. You are feeling lighter, lighter, and lighter. Feel this journey. Enjoy this journey. Now slowly take your mind to the rising sun. Wow, what a wonderful sight. The energy source of this earth. At the horizon, you can find a dot coming up, a red dot. Wow, that dot is becoming bigger, bigger and larger. 
And now you can find a red ball. It has come up from the horizon. What an enchanting sight. Nature. Marvelous. Magnificent. Stupendous sight. Feel the nature. Enjoy the nature. And enjoy every bit of it. Now you can feel the rays from the sun coming over your face and transferring that wonderful energy to you. Receive that golden yellow color healing energy which activates, energize and rejuvenate your body parts, organs and the trillions of cells across your body. Wonderful! And when you are breathing out, you are breathing out all the negative energy. Bad thoughts, ill thoughts. And you are cleansing yourself with positive vibes, freshness, happiness and prosperity. That is wonderful. Now slowly take your mind to the snow-peaked mountains of Himalayas. The wonderful mountain peaks over the north and northeast side of the India. Himalaya mountains where you find the highest peak, the Everest. 29,000 plus feet. Wow, what a wonderful sight. You can see those mountain peaks totally white in color. The whole mountain tops are covered with white snow, serene. By God, this is absolutely spellbound. The whole mountain looking like white mountains with fresh snow over it. And that rays of the rising sun falling over these mountain tops. By God, this is absolutely wonderful. You can see the whole mountain glittering like gold. The whole white mountain looks like golden mountain now. That beautiful morning rays of the rising sun falling over these mountains. Nature at its best. Absolutely. Feel the nature. Enjoy the nature. And enjoy every bit of it. Every bit. Now stay in this wonderful state of mind for some time at your rhythm and comfort zone. Feel the nature. Enjoy the nature. Now we will slowly get back to our body. When you are absolutely normal, keep moving your fingers and toes. Move your fingers and toes. Now slowly take your both hands and start rubbing each other, very slowly, a little faster, faster, faster. When you feel the warmth and the energy inside your palms, place it over your face, your forehead, eyes. Now give a gentle massage to your face, gentle massage. Transfer that wonderful energy. Now keep your both hands over your forehead, over your head. Slowly move it down to your neck. The most buggered organ in this online platform because you are looking down at the screen and monitor. 
say a big thank you to your neck for holding you on now move it over your shoulders shoulders arm lower hands fingers then keep it over your chest bring it down to your abdomen stomach area then your back spinal cord hips thighs knees calf ankle feet and toes wonderful your whole body is totally relaxed now with a wonderful smile i want a 70 mm smile on your face slowly open your eyes very slowly yes welcome back to this wonderful universe god has been so kind to us may peace be upon all of you now you can go and conquer this world thank you thank you colonel sir that was so rejuvenating to say the least you took us on a literal tour of you know the the sun the mountains and everything so beautiful in nature really really rejuvenating children did you all feel that yes ma'am yes ma'am wonderful yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am great you just give us a thumbs up give us a thumbs yes, up yes ma'am great so uh we'll have a short 5 uh, minute interactive session with colonel sir uh, he will take a few questions five questions to be precise right colonel sir yeah yes so does anybody have any question either either can they can ask by unmuting or they can put Raise it in the chat hand. box you can read it out ma'am yes we can do that either put it in the chat box or you can just uh raise your hand and then we'll call out to you Uh, request all parents to fill in the feedback form your feedback is most valuable to us and there is a provision in the feedback to post your question if any to colonel sir he will uh, respond to you later yeah yeah any time any time nandana has raised her hand can you please unmute her ma'am yes nandana yeah you are ma'am. unmuted nandana ma'am i mean uh, sir i do I enjoyed the session that it was very refreshing for my whole body and face also for the day ahead Thank you Nandana thank you Yeah so sir I have one question so when you do pranayama so you breathe in hold and breathe out right so what should be the timing how much time you breathe in how much time you should hold and how much you breathe out Okay, okay. Shaker, Shaker, sir. Now, actually, over a period of time, you have to make the ratio is to one is to four is to two. That means if you are taking four counts while breathing in, you have to take sixteen counts of holding. Which please don't try. This is done by yogis. Okay, and okay. then you do eight counts of breathing out. All right, and you also do a holding after the breathing out to four counts okay so this is a huge area which you require exploration and go slow and steady we normally take two to three years to you know get into pranayama but normal things just remember if you have taken four counts you should breathe out the eight counts okay so initially you practice that and slowly over a period of time early morning when you get up you can practice this is wonderful because after the sleep after the rest for 8 9 6 hours whatever you have you know the whole body is very light and the blood circulation is the minimum so that is the time you give that fresh oxygenated air in you will find that the whole body gets so much of energy honestly the pranayam is much more rejuvenating than the asanas asanas are more like exercise and then you finally culminate with the meditation so you get into that bliss so it is very important to tone and tune up our body so that we have maximum capacity to resist whether it is a bacteria or virus the present generation because of our lifestyle because of our food habits our resistance is the worst i'm sorry to say that so we have to really work on it 
take out 45 minutes to one hour out of the 24 hour bio clock for yourself. So you have to be physically fit, then you will feel more happy. So that's the only point I want to convey to the young brigade. Absolutely, absolutely. How well said, Colonel Sir. I truly believe, like you said, health is wealth. We are very grateful to Colonel Siti for consenting to conduct this most beneficial session for us today. Thank you so much, sir, for taking time off your very busy schedule. We are we have truly benefited from this session with your guidance, and we hope to make the best use of it each day. Thank you so much. Dear parents, thank you all so much. A lot of thanks to you all for your dynamic participation. Your involvement has made this event a really special one. Children, without you, I don't think any event is possible at all. Thank you all for participating with such enthusiasm. Thank you all. Have a lovely, invigorating day. Namaste. Namaste.